Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, I want to do something a teeny bit different than normal. It's not going to be super different from normal because I'm still going to be talking about Swiss Army Knives. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk about like a series of Swiss Army Knives. And in this case, I want to talk about the Winger Titanium line of Swiss Army Knives. Now, there's three knives in this line and they're all discontinued. It, well, Winger's out of business or got absorbed by Victorinox, so obviously they're discontinued. But like Victorinox didn't pick up this particular line at all. Now the deal with these is they're rather unusual looking Swiss Army knives. And the design came from a, a, a mountain climber, and I'm going to mangle his name. I apologize. It's Uli, U-E-L-I. And his last name is Steck, S-T-E-C-K. And so, uh, I, I apologize if I mangled his name, but hopefully you can figure out who I'm talking about. I'll include a link in the description that has a Swiss Army Knife wiki page about these. So, what makes these distinctive, first of all, is the scales are made of kind of a titanium alloy to help make them more rugged and more mountain climbing friendly, I, from what I could tell. So let's take a look at them. We'll take a look at the three knives. The knives are the Titanium 1, the Titanium 2, and then this one is the Uli Steck Special Edition. One. And it has the most, the most bells and whistles. So let's take a look at all three of these and we'll spread them out and be able to compare all three of them together. And one thing that's, that they do have that's the same is they all come with one of these little sheets, and this is a, it's kind of like a neoprene, actually I'm, I'm pretty sure it is neoprene. They come with like a neoprene sheath, and they all come with two bits. Now this is the titanium one. Now the bits insert here and here in the scale, so you can like get a lot of pressure behind it if you need to and really crank. This is the blade. And these are 85 millimeter, I believe. I think these are that size. Yeah. They're like the 85 millimeter, sort of. The blade itself is a little hair over two inches. Now, they're kind of weird looking. This is a wrench. I think it is intended for the air tanks and this the knife is it's a lock blade the titanium one just comes with the blade itself and with the little tool on it and they're lock blades and the way you unlock them is you can press you press the shield and the little liner lock is depressed and then you can close them you can also just use it the you can depress the liner lock manually if you are so inclined so this is the titanium one, and the titanium one you just get the blade and the, the bits. Now the titanium two, you get a little extra goodie, a little extra in the goodie department. So the titanium two is a little bit wider, and in addition to the blade, you get a wrench thing. I can get it out. I think it's a wrench, or is it a saw? Oh, it's a saw, that's right, I forgot. Yeah, you get a saw. You get a wood saw. So you pick up the wood saw, you still have the knife blade, and it's still a lock blade, and you still have the, the bits that fit in the scale. So actually, let's lay these out. I'll open them up so you can see the additions. So titanium one, you just have the blade. Titanium two, you have the blade and the saw. And the titanium, well, it's not exactly the titanium three. This is the the special edition. So this one, it has the knife blade. You have a metal file, 
and you have the can opener and the bottle opener, which are the standard winger things. So let's see. I'll open up the extras for this one. They're on this one. So there's that, and there's that, and I can get to it. There we go. So that's what you end up with. The titanium one is just the knife blade. The titanium two is the knife blade and the saw. And the titanium three, they swap a metal file for the saw blade and you get the bottle opener, flathead screwdriver, wire stripper, and then the, the winger style can opener. And you also have the scale tools. You also have the scale bits that come with it. So it's kind of an interesting series. And I mean, it didn't go anywhere. Uh, I, uh, it, they're, they're neat looking knives and I kind of like the style of the blades particularly, but I don't know. They, I feel like they're, I feel like they're a piece of sort of Swiss Army knife history that kind of just went away. And you can find these, these, these aren't impossible to find, although they have lately been a teeny bit on the expensive side, tending to run, I mean, I've seen them, I've seen people asking like $400 for that one, and that is too much. I, I feel that's too much. But if you can find these for like maybe close to a hundred, a hundred or less, less than a hundred, it might not be bad to pick up. I mean, they're kind of neat. And the metal scales are very solid. I mean, like they're obviously they're titanium, a titanium alloy, so they can take a lot of a beating. Anyway, let me know what you think. And if you if you enjoyed this kind of video where I talk about kind of subsets of Swiss Army Knives, let me know in the comments. And if there's a subset you'd like me to talk about, and I have them available as, for lack of a better term, props, I'll be more than happy to do it. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I hope you all have an excellent day.